hi everyone how are you doing today welcome back again to today's video so today's tutorial is going to be on how to install a crochet and this is a new method so i would advise you to watch the video from the beginning to the end so that you don't get to miss any single step because if you miss a step like if you skip any part you are going to miss like a like an important step so just watch carefully enjoy the video while watching so the first thing you want to do is to wash your client hair with shampoo and conditioner just to make sure the scalp is neat enough and ready for the installation next i'm just going to box braid the her hair in lines like so and this is like a middle middle um, box braid it's not small and it's not big it's just a middle like middle size box braid but before box braiding i'm just going to go ahead to count the extension to know how many like how many is in a pack because my clients do not want to spend more than um more than this one pack she just wants to use only this one pack so i'm just going to go ahead to count the pack or count the hairs in the pack before i go ahead to start box braiding so that i don't over over box braid her hair or i don't under box braid her hair but under box braiding her hair should be better but you know we want the hair to be full or she wants the hair to be full so we don't want to under or over like i said before she loved or she would like to use only just one pack so if you want um to see how we change the hair color her hair color from black because she, her hair color was black before so if you want to see how we changed her hair color from black to this color i'm going to leave the link in the description box below so that you can can go ahead to check it out all right here is the extension we're going to be using for her hair and this is what it looks like uh, in a pack you get about 54 pieces of um, the crochet in one pack and um, the inches is about 24 or 22 inches it's not so long but it's long enough for my clients back to the tutorial for the front i will just be sectioning it like so because we want the hair to go all back after the installation so we want everything to be all back and not center parting or side parting so we want everything to fall all back so that's why we are sectioning it like so really love for you guys to check our website out um we have beautiful luxury hairs and by 1st of july to 10th of july we're going to be starting our very first sales media sales so we are going to be doing our first sales guys who is excited about this so these hairs we're going to be making it really really affordable for you guys to purchase or to buy from us so there are luxury hairs that you can buy easily like they are going to be very affordable for you guys so i advise you to start saving your money now save your money tell a friend to tell a friend save your own money so that you don't get to miss it do not do this time around do don't do all at all hairs all the hairs are going to be very affordable for you guys to purchase and they are quality hairs luxury hairs so the sales is just going to be on the hairs alone and not the product the hair product it's just the hairs not the braided hairs or just luxury hairs wigs bundles so they are going to be very affordable for you guys you can go onto the website to check the quality you want because or the style you want you can go on to the website check the quality check the style you want and save it because that day <laughs> that day is going to be mad 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 sales so just go onto the website www.squeezysignature.com it's going to be on your screen as well save the particular hair save your money and also save the date so that you don't miss it at all and like i said before no doll oh, don't doll in this this one don't do so that you can slay you can slay like other girls So right now we are counting the hairs that's the box braid hairs so we are counting it because we are done box braiding so we are counting the hairs and after that we'll just go ahead to also count the extensions to be sure that everything is corresponding because we do not want to under or we don't want it we don't want our client to buy extra pack and she doesn't even want to buy extra pack because of you know Record of me for the installation of the extension i will be trying two different method or two different ways so this is the first way so we use the crochet pin to you know in out of the box braid and then we'll pass it in out of the box braid you know 
and then take the tip of the extension through the loop and to tie it and to hide the tip of the hair we we'll just we we'll just pass it through the extension like so pretty simple but we noticed that the natural hair her natural hair was showing like it was visible so we decided to loosen the hair to try the second method for the second method we'll just be putting the extension and the natural hair close to each other then take a little attachment uh to just um, wrap it around both the extension and her natural hair together from the roots so we'll be wrapping it around the extension and the natural hair together we'll use the extension or the attachment to wrap around the crochet extension and the natural hair together this is so that the root of the hair will look neat and while doing this we are not tying we are not tying it very tight we are just wrapping it firmly not tight and to secure it we'll just go ahead to tie a knot and and then open up the crochet extension to try to fix in her natural hair in between the crochet extension and after that this is so that it won't be visible and after that to secure everything in place so that you know why she's why the hair is just there to the hair the natural hair will not just be visible we're going to just use needle and thread to sew it in while securing the whole process we're just going to be as well hiding the thread while sewing it in like so so we sew it down to the tip of the hair and then after that go ahead to tie a knot and then cut off the excess thread like so so yeah We'll go ahead to repeat the same thing again, put the crochet extension and her natural hair together and then use little extension or little attachment to wrap around both the natural hair and the crochet extension to make the root to look or the root of the hair to look pretty neat. Then to secure, we'll just go ahead to tie the knot with the attachment or the attachment extension after that we'll move over to hiding the natural hair in between the crochet extension just so that it won't be visible and to secure and you know you guys her hair her natural hair color is different from the extension the crochet extension color so next we'll be using needle and thread to secure it um, so that so that it doesn't lose in and while securing it with needle and thread we'll try to hide the thread in between as well so that it doesn't like so that it won't be visible uh we'll just continue sewing until i get to the tip of her natural hair and after that we'll go ahead to tie the thread together into a knot and then use scissors to cut off the excess so at this point i'm just going to allow you guys to watch the video so that you understand the whole process and once i'm done with that i'm just going to use my two hands uh roll the hair that's the crochet hair in between my two hands like so just so that everything can blend together that's her natural hair and the crochet extension so that they can blend together